physically but were there virtually. Show of hands. If you're not there virtually or physically, how about mentally? <laughs> that would be great. Now, hey, buddy! You went missing. All right, come on, have a sip. Ah. Okay, so. Uh, just, you know what? Yeah. I see everybody's very casual today. And I'm going to ask you and invite you to take your shoes off. Way ahead of and you. Enjoy. Way ahead of you. I got my. Come on, take them off if you want. It's, it's, you know, you are human beings. You have feet in, in those shoes. Enjoy. Okay. Here we go. Yes. And I assume that for those of them online, probably has their shoes off in any case. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, this is definitely stinky of the whole table. So I just want to actually check in with you and let, let everyone here to understand exactly what it means to be a global nomad. What does it mean? Well, it has a variety of meanings. However, how did it come for me? It was my branding in, in many ways, and it's not an unusual branding perhaps for some people, but I arrived back in Canada and I, it, at the entry, when I landed, I looked out the w window and it was so snowy. And I had just come from Singapore and I went, I'm a global nomad. I don't need to be here right now. <laughs> and so I thought, that's it, bing. And that's how it all came about. But it's, it's really about being thinking globally. It's about being a global citizen. And it's also about being nomadic. It's about movement. So a movement, not only physical movement, but it's also mental, heart movement, uh, intuition movement. That's a global nomad for me. Thank you. Now, you mentioned about something to do with snow, because back in Canada and all, right? So yes. I did a little bit of research about Kevin. And here's the thing. He choreographed in the Olympics for figure skating. Tell me more about that, but I want to know firstly, in which year was this? It was back in the pre-century. <laughs> so, give me uh, a clue, give me a clue. I'll give you a, well, there's a, there's a number which is very much in Chinese is, is delighted by. There's always a number eight. So okay. maybe if you double it, you'll be able to find out. So the year I was born in 1988. Yes, yes. Okay. Wow, wow. But I'm not going to tell you anymore because I want to tell them later. Right, fair enough. Then in that case, ladies and gentlemen, let me present you Kevin. Give him a round of applause. So, so with that, once again, from Go Nomading, we've got ourselves with Kevin down here. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now we've got to figure out where your shoes are. My shoes are. Your shoes are right there. My shoes are on with me.